What's up guys, my name's Sean. And I'm Kathy. And you're watching Bend It, Break It, and Recreate It. And today we're going to take this ordinary little stable mate and turn him into a beautiful pearl pegasus. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to make some wings for this thing while she gets him ready. For our wings, we're going to be using Ultimaker Cura for our 3D software. And we're not going to get into how we make the wings or anything like that in the video as far as the software goes. But we will print them out here. And uh, for our printer, we use the Tenlog 3D Solutions Hands 2. Uh, this is a really cool printer because it also has the dual extruders. But uh, let's get set up here and print these wings out. Okay, so now that Sean's made us these beautiful little wings, the first thing we're going to want to do is attach them to the horse. And we don't want to do any kind of painting or primering before we do that because the adhesive that we use will mess up the paint. We use the stick fast glue with the fast activating spray. And that makes a really solid tight bond. So now we're going to grab our handy dandy horsey holder downer 5000 that Sean was nice enough to make for us because this takes two hands to put these wings on you're not going to want to clamp it too tight it's just acting as an extra set of hands for you I don't want to see where we want to place this wing it's going to be right up here on the shoulder next to the mane I'm going to put a small dab of glue there. And a little spray. And your wing is going to stay now. We're going to do a little extra glue around. We're going to go ahead and attach both wings now, and then we'll go back around and tighten them up. Okay, now that they're on there, we can take this little guy back out. And we can just go around, because you see they're pretty firmly on there. But uh, we'll just go around just to be sure. We don't want them coming off. And go around the edges there. So those don't even move. They're on there very well. Now that we have the wings on, we're going to go ahead and clean up any excess glue around the edges just to make the paint look more smooth. And then once that's cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and primer him. 
So we're going to take a break here for a minute on this little build. We want to show you guys what we found at the state sale down the road here today on Valentine's Day. We got all these horses for 30 bucks, the whole little lot of them. And we figured that we would open up the surprise ones with you guys. But uh, I think the best one in the lot are these Gypsy Vanners. Uh, these horses were bred in the United Kingdom. And uh, the thing that's cool about them is they got the lush mane and tail and the feathering on their feet. And this one's a, called a skewbald. Am I correct on that? A skewbald color. Thanks. But uh, he's a beautiful little guy. But we're going to get Kathy in here and she's going to tear open some packages real quick and show them to you. And we're going to do it in a time limit. That's a pretty good little lot. Let's go put them up on the shelf and see what they look like. Wow, they really look cool on display like this, don't they? I love them. All these little horses are so nice. You might see horses, but I see unicorns and pigs. <laughs> right. So let's uh, let's get back to our Pegasus field. But those are beautiful. I like that. That was a good lick for thirty bucks. Now I highly recommend this Tack Life rotary tool. It is much cheaper than the Dremel tool. Comes in this case with all these accessories. So this is the tool itself. You can use it like this without the wand, or you can add the wand which came with it. This is about the size of a pen. Very easy to use, hold, going around to clean up the excess glue around the wings. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But this whole thing, the tool, the extra pen and the case with all the accessories was around $40 on Amazon, which is a great deal because just the Dremel by itself is $50. All we want to do now is just clean up some of this excess glue around the wing so when we paint it, you don't see a raised area from the glue. All right, so we're going to hand this guy over to Sean so he can airbrush it. For the paint, we're going to be using this Liquitex acrylic medium. Now, what this does is it's going to break our, our paint down because this is kind of thick. So I've already mixed it in here. I'm going to shake that up real good. I'll put a couple of BBs in here. And what that does is it helps break it down some. We're going to get that in our cup. That's pretty good. Now, I have another airbrush here that we could use. It's a lot better, but this thing here works just fine for what I'm fixing to do. Uh, it's just a little handheld battery powered. I think that's gonna do it uh, looks pretty good to me let's give it over to Kathy and let her put some makeup on it for the face the shading on the face the nose around the eyes we're gonna use some pastels you can get these on Amazon as well what I do is I take the little cubes and I just shave them off into a powder that you can use with a makeup brush I like to use the makeup brush and also some Q-tips. These are some cool ones with some pointy ends for getting in tight little spots. And also for flat spots. So these are the colors that we're going to use. We have a pink for the nose. We'll go around the edges of the nose with a dark gray. And around the eyes and hooves with the black.
Now with the the nose, the tip of the nose, the pink is a a lighter color and it's a little harder to stick, so I like to rub this one on rather than brush it on to get it a little darker. And that's just about all the pink that we're going to want. And then after that we're going to go around the edges with the dark gray. And I like to use a makeup brush for that. You can do it in coats and get it a little darker. This is just to give it some shading around the eyes. We're actually going to paint the eyes with a black acrylic. This is a black acrylic paint. We're just going to paint the eye. Okay, so now we're ready to do the hose. Just going to brush some. Brush some black pastel around the hose. to do the pearl on the maiden's tail and the wings. And for the pearl I like to use this You want to brush on the wings pretty thick because you want to get it in all these grooves and then you can smooth it out get the excess paint off. But with the 3D printed wings you have you know a lot of excess spots to fill. Alright, so that's pretty much it. And we're just going to want to go over him with a clear lacquer and then he'll be all done.
conclude our little adventure with this little guy in this episode right here. But we really appreciate you watching and we hope that you hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we did, hey, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment if there's anything you'd like to see us do in the future. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're going to take this little guy in the next video and we're going to turn him into that little guy. And if you get a chance to, make sure you bend it, break it, and recreate it.